This is the user guide for the Apogee Guardian. The Apogee Guardian is an all-in-one greenhouse monitor. The Guardian features five different sensors, providing nine different metrics, and gives you the option to access them using one app. The Apogee Guardian comes in two different models. The SM500, which features a PAR sensor, and the SM600, which features an EPAR sensor. The entire shroud is an aspirated shield for the temperature sensor, which you can see at the bottom. The Guardian will take air and pull it up through the housing, past the temperature sensor, and then disperse that air out the top. The bottom of the Guardian is held on by magnets, and when removed, will give you access to the humidity, the CO2, and the pressure sensors. To put the bottom back on, line it up, and it should snap right back on because it's held on by magnets. Keep in mind that the Guardian is waterproof from falling rain. You don't want to spray water up into the unit because it could damage the components of the Guardian. Inside the Guardian case, it comes with a wire hanging kit and a power adapter. To power on the Guardian, pull the connector from the housing, line up the pins, connect the connector, and finger tighten the metal rings. Then add power. Make sure that when you power on the Guardian, the bottom is free and clear from any obstructions. That way the air can freely flow through the device and it won't overstress the fan. The Guardian is powered on, but is not collecting any data. To take data, you need to either use the Modbus protocol or use the Bluetooth Apogee Connect app. To use the wire hanging kit, first locate the wire kit hanging connection points. There are three of them. Take the clip, line it up from the bottom, and push up. It'll make a popping sound as it connects into place. Do that for all three sides. It should look something like this when you're done. You can hang it from the hook or loop and then connect to the hanging kit itself. To remove the hanging kit, pull the clips outward and they should pop right off. Available for the Guardian is the multi-position mast mount. The mast mount features a U-bolt that allows you to mount to various sizes of mast. First, tighten the U-bolt onto the mast mount, orient the clip, so that the bubble level is facing up. Rotate the knob clockwise to increase tension. When you found the appropriate tension, pull the connector away from the Guardian and hook on the mount. Push the top clip down to lock it into place. Use the bubble level on top to orient the Guardian in a horizontal position. Simply connect power and you're ready to go. To remove the Guardian from the mast mount, take the clip on the back side, push towards the Guardian and up. The retaining clip on the top should lift. At this point, you can lift and pull away the Guardian. With the Guardian mounted and powered on, you're ready to begin taking measurements. To use the Modbus protocol, look at the user manual below in the description for details on how to set up using Modbus. Right now, I'm going to show you how to use the Apogee Connect app. First, you need to install the Apogee Connect app. You can get the Connect app at the iTunes Store or at Google Play. When you open the software, it'll look similar to this. Mine has several sensors already connected. Yours will probably be blank. But to add a sensor, go to the plus sign up in the top left corner. It'll begin searching for devices. Find the device and click on it. When it's connected, you can then change the name of that device. We're going to change this to SM500 Demo. And then hit Add. When it's added, you can scroll down and see that it's connected. If you want to disconnect the device, press and hold and swipe from the right. It'll give the option to forget or to disconnect. If you want to realign where your sensors are on the list, Press and hold, and you can slide them up and down. On the home screen, it'll give you a quick overview of the device's measurements. Let's look at those measurements in detail. Click on the device. 
From here, it'll show you the readings, as well as what logs are available to collect. If this is your first time setting up the device, click on the settings icon to set up your device. From here, you can either set up custom calibrations, dark offsets, and enable logging. We want to make sure we do that, so click on the little toggle. From here, you can set how often you want to take your samples and how often you want them to be logged. We're going to change our sampling interval to every 10 seconds and then log them every minute. When you're done, press the Save button. The device is now logging data. Below, you'll see the Notify When Full option. Enable this if you'd like to receive a notification when the memory on the Guardian is almost full. After some time, there'll be some data available. To collect that data, press the Collect Logs button. From here, you have the option to create a new data set or to add to an old data set. We're going to create a new data set. We're going to call it Data Set Demo. Click in the bottom right corner under Collect Logs. It will begin to download that data. Depending on how much data you have to collect, it may take a minute. Once you've collected that data, you can scroll down to see those metrics displayed in graph form. You can see things like the DLI, photo periods, PAR, temperature, all the metrics that the Guardian measures will be there in displayed form. On the icons below, you have the option to switch your data set, export your data set, and delete data sets. This also has the option for a live meter mode. Click on the live meter. It will instantly begin to show you real-time data of what the Guardian is collecting. As it takes samples, it will begin to display in the graph form. And with that, you should have what you need to get started with the Guardian. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below or refer to the user manual found in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.